Okay. Hi, everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, data extraction from the JSON. Uh, how we can uh, uh, pull out the valuable information from the JSON uh, data, which is indexed in this Splunk. So I'm going to show you the ways, the, the uh, SPL commands, what we can use in order to extract the uh, fields from the JSON data. So I'm just uh, going to pick two examples. And I'm going to, I'm not going to index the data in Splunk, the JSON data. Basically, I'm just going to create uh, the temporary JSON data in the Splunk and then we'll see how we can uh, extract the fields from that. So using make results, I'm going to create the JSON data. I'm going to create the raw field. Okay, so since this JSON data already has the special characters, we will have to place those. Let me just do it. So we need to basically put the backwards less uh, before the double quotes in order to ignore this. So I've done that, let me replace it now. Yeah, so you can see like uh, before all double quotes here, I just taped this backwards less. So now it will be able to get this JSON data. Perfect. So now we can see this JSON data has been uh, created here in this plan. So now if we want to use, extract these fields, right? Value here, the on click pop up, value ID. So how we can do that? So there is a very useful command in this plan, and that's as path. We just uh, put as path here and click enter. It will uh, break the data into fields. Uh, so like, okay, so here you can see the top field is in the JSON data, the top uh, field is menu. So you can see menu and inside that there is a child field ID. So menu.id and the value for that is file. Again, there is a child field called value and it's sitting under the parent field menu. So menu.value uh, and for that the uh, value is file so that you can see it here. Similarly, there is a pop-up child field and inside the pop-up, there's another one child field that is menu item. So that's why you are seeing here menu pop-up dot menu item. And then inside that we have the value. And why we uh, you see these curly braces? Because it's an array, right? There are multiple values. It's not just a single value. So now if in order to accept the fields, so for example, if you want to accept just the menu.id, how we can do that? So we need to provide the path here, menu.id, that's it. You can see the menu.id has been extracted and you can rename it as well, like maybe menu underscore id. So this is done now. So now this field has been extracted. You can use it in your queries now and in the data visualization. You can see for this menu ID, one record with the value field. Okay, let's go back. For example, you want to extract this value field, right? So what you will have to do you need to provide, um, basically what it does, it traverses the complete path. So what you need to do, you need to travel it from menu to till this menu item. So 
menu dot pop up and inside it you have this menu dot item and since this is an array so you need to provide this curly braces so it will take all the fields sorry all the values for this field so this has been extracted now and inside that what you want to extract uh, there are multiple fields right value on click so suppose i want to accept as the value field see so all these uh, for this value field all these values have been extracted now and now if you want to use it you can use it in your queries folder to rename this output you can use this output here and you can give name like menu underscore item underscore values perfect so similarly if you want to extract this on click values as well so you can use another as path command and instead of value you just need to write this new field name here on click on click Okay, so both these uh, fields values have been extracted now. Now, uh, okay, so this is how you can extract the fields from your JSON data. What if you do not, okay, let's make some changes here in the data. What if you do not have this, these multiple fields here, what you just uh, single entry right how you are going to extract it now okay sorry so we need to escape this special character here So this is under menu dot item. I mean, I just want to show you an important thing here. So now, if you just provide the complete directory here, menu dot pop up, and inside this you have this menu dot item, and if you click enter, it's not going to return anything. See, it's blank, and the reason is it's an array, right? It's still in the uh, brackets it's the array so in order to extract this value you will have to provide the curly braces so whenever you see an array and you are not able to see the uh, extraction you just make sure that for the arrays you are using the curly braces what if you have the multiple entries here So it's going to accept both of these now. See? And you can just uh, rename it. Yeah. So this is how we can, uh, using uh, as path command, we can uh, extract the data from the JSON. And it's very useful. It's very handy command. When you have the JSON data in your S plan, and you want to play around it, you want to set up reports, alerts, and dashboards, you can use the SPath command and you can extract the JSON data. You can uh, create the valuable fields and then post that you can use those fields with these statistical commands and even for the data visualization and all. Okay, so that's it uh, for today's. Uh, video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.